Hey, at Nolifane here, we totally get how difficult it is sometimes to understand all the explanations and all the terminology around suspension components, bushings, kits, not just yourself, also your customer. So we'll try and break it down into some pretty simple terms that we like to use and love to see you use the same. Now, when we're talking about components, we always try and go car, the component, then the location of the bushing on that component. So if we split a car into different planes, obviously there's a front and a rear. Given the components, there's always an upper and a lower, particularly where they're in the same family of components. And then of course, there's an inner and an outer. So if you divide a car from the top, the inner is obviously towards the center, outer is outboard of that. So the best way to probably explain this is if I picked out three components here that I've just put a circle around on my drawings. Again, this is just the really basic stuff so you get it. Now, here if we pick this component here, so that's obviously front of car because we talk about the car first. Next thing we know, it's an upper. So out of the upper lower, because they're both wishbones or control arms out of the same family, it's an upper bushing we require. Then in terms of whether it's inner and outer, well that's on the inside, you can see the A-arm, that's an inner bushing and then the location of that bushing on that component is at the front. So you get that component there. Now if we come to the back of the car and we talk about our trailing arms, all right, got a circle around this one. So it's obviously car first, so we know it's rear of car, so rear, we know it's so upper and lower, we can see it's a lower, there's the upper arm and the lower arm. Inner and outer, because it's a control, uh, sorry, a, a trailing arm that runs along the car, there is no inner and outer in that one. And front and rear, well, we can see on the component, location bushing, it's the front. Okay, so that's that one there. Then if we go to the rear of the car and we pick out this one, we can see again, start with the car, rear of car, we know that it's a, well, upper and lower, there's only a lower control arm here, so that doesn't apply. Inner and outer, it's obviously an inner towards the centre of the car and front or rear, well in this instance there's only one control arm, obviously in more complex rear end systems there might be multiple control arms which would require a bit more lingo. But I hope that helps you understand what's sometimes pretty complex and as I say, if you can stick to that lingo that'll help yourself, it'll help us, it'll help us all.